Hi, Byron. I know that, you know, with your given place sort of in the wide receiver room, the opportunities you get are sometimes limited, but it seems like anytime you get a chance, you're catching your target or whatever, even today when there was the ball deflected, you're able to grab it out of the air. How difficult is it to just stay ready when the opportunities are so limited? Uh, it's not It's not difficult. You know, you're a professional. You know, you come to work every day. Uh, you, know, you never know when your time to be, uh, be called, so you got to stay ready. Stay mentally ready and know your assignment when you have given the opportunity to be out there. Let's go next to Harold Koontz. Go ahead, Harold. Byron, when you're coming back from injury there and then you get back a little bit uh, late in the season, do you feel like you're trying to get to that point now where you can feel you can be at a contributing level, especially now coming into postseason play? And just how cool is it to be out there with that opportunity given and to kind of showcase your talent? Uh, can you repeat that, sir? Oh, just to be out there to showcase your, what you could do after coming back from injury, and do you feel like you're getting back to a point where you can contribute in postseason play for the Chiefs? Uh, when I well, when I went out, when I uh, was with the training staff, I knew I was in good hands with uh, Julie and Rick and staff. Um, I knew when I got back, I knew I was going to come back and just give my all from the time that I missed and uh, just keep working hard. Whenever I get the opportunity, just take it one play at a time, no pressure on myself. And just execute the plan. I think Harold had a follow-up here. Harold, go ahead. Oh, j just, uh, you know, in terms of today's game, how do you feel you, you went out there and performed today? I mean, you had a, definitely that nice uh, catch where you kind of avoided three tackles, which is kind of described with, through uh, that play. Uh, once we called the play, I knew I had to get the, the backer, the crossover run. And once he crossed over one, I, I stopped. And uh, when I seen the ball coming from Chad, I knew I had an opportunity to break away from the defender because he was still off balance. And uh, when I get the ball in my hand and then I'm in open space, I like me versus a lot of dudes, one-on-one -on -one tackling. And uh, just run with a lot of anger and aggression because I never know when I'm going to get the ball again. So I just take advantage, full advantage of my opportunity. Go next to Herbie T.O.B. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Byron. Good to see you, man. How you doing? Hey, I'm, I'm well, thanks. Inside the 10-yard line, the ball bounces off of uh, Darwin Thompson. It's in the air. What's going through your head as you're seeing that loose ball in the air? Uh, once I seen it, when I seen it bounce off the uh, the defender helmet, I'm like, man, is it they going to pick it or I can go grab it or knock it, uh, make the tackle, the, deflect the ball so it can be an incomplete pass. But when it started, when it came back backwards, I'm like, I got a shot to, to get in the end zone again. And uh, I just took full advantage of that opportunity as well. Just catching it, watching the ball all the way in and try to get in the end zone. We've got two left. We'll go Matt Derrick and Nick Jacobs. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Byron, you've been around Tyreek now for a few years. I'm just curious, you know, what kind of uh, advice, what have you learned from him as, a, you know, both on and off the field from Ty? Uh, playing the game with passion, full, full of the hard work and that he do in practice, and it, it translates to the game. It's being able to, to give every player and, and win his one-on-one -on -one battles, one and oh, try to win each play one and oh, and uh, – he always tell me to stay focused and because and, I never know my time be called, I mean, my name be called, and, and when I get the opportunity, just take full advantage of it. I'll go last to Nick Jacobs. Go ahead, Nick. Brett, I'll follow up for this. Byron, for you, what do you have to do and what does the receiver group have to do to stay sharp during this week off so that you don't miss any miss a beat come divisional round? Uh, go in and get the, the treatment if you need it. Uh, Take care of your bodies and be be prepared to, to go to work. And, and for you, what have you observed from watching the playoffs over the years? What, how different is the intensity of that week? Uh, it, it really does. It really doesn't change. We just try to fine tune our work and and try to find things that we messed up on throughout the year and perfect that and and go forward with with just be, being ourselves, not putting too much pressure on ourselves. Just taking one play at a time, one quarter at a time, one day at a time.